Good happy Thursday evening. I'm Riley King and welcome to Good Evening New Hampshire. Let's get started. Epping woman accused of seriously injuring 18 month old. An Epping woman has been charged with inflicting life altering injuries on an 18 month child in her care. Recording played of former police chief, woman who accused him of assault. A woman who accused a former police chief of sexually assaulting her continued her testimony Thursday as the jury heard a recording of when she confronted him years later. Man testifies that target of Bedford home invasion picked randomly. An alleged accomplice of a man accused of attacking a Bedford couple in their home in 2012 testified Thursday about the events of that night. Firefighter held, firefighters held special training year after fatal tent collapse. Firefighters from across the state trained Thursday on circus tent inspections and how to deal with collapses, nearly a year after a father and daughter died in a tent collapse. Woman accused of failing to report repeated sexual assault of girl. A woman is facing three charges related to a sexual assault investigation appeared Thursday in a Manchester courtroom. Ayotte praises Hassan criticizing Superior Court 4-4 immigration decision. Republican Senator Kelly Ayotte and her Democratic challenger Governor Maggie Hassan had opposing reactions to Thursday's split U.S. Supreme Court decision that effectively blocks President Obama's plan to allow millions of undocumented immigrants remain in the U.S. Vermont teen who drowned in Connecticut River hailed as a hero. A Vermont teen who drowned in Dalton earlier this week is being hailed as a hero. Fiatichiv could be in Northern Mass or Southern New Hampshire. U.S. Marshals are asking for the public's help finding a Fiatichiv who was last known to be living in Northern Massachusetts or Southern New Hampshire. Aflac calls Deflategate as a ridiculous term campaign. Ben Affleck gave former ESPN reality Bill Simmers' new HBO talk show a lively start with a five-minute expletive-filled rant on Deflategate. Moderate drought reported in southern New Hampshire. Granite states are in for a dry and beautiful stretch of weather. Officials warn residents after several bear sightings in Manchester. Officials in Manchester are warning residents to be on the lookout for bears after one was spotted roaming in the city. Crystal Lake Beach deemed safe after elevated E. coli levels found. Manchester's Crystal Lake Beach has is reopened to the public for swimming days after elevated E. coli were detected in the water. Senate Majority PAC add latest blast in TV airwaves battle. Back and forth they go a new television Add by the pro-democratic Senate Majority PAC on the airwaves Thursday morning answers 
an ad against the Governor Maggie Hassan by Pro GOP Issues Group, supportive of Senate Kelly Ayotte. How Trump wore out his Scottish welcome. In a land where Donald Trump first stormed the national poli political stage a decade ago, few are eager for his return on Thursday when he will arrive for his Madden voyage aboard as the perspective Republican nominee. U.S. features higher ahead of Berkston vote results. U.S. stocks index features opened higher Thursday evening with Dow features briefly up above 100 points and pointing to a higher open for Friday morning. Second body found in search for four family members missing off Florida coast. A second body was recovered today as the Coast Guard continued searching for four family members who disappeared Sunday on their sailboat off the western coast of Florida. The first body, who the Graving family said is 17-year-old Becca Lynn was found Wednesday in the search area in the Gulf of Mexico. The two bodies found were four miles away from each other, but either ha neither has been I officially identified by the Coast Guard. And let's take a look and see what's trending right now online. Becca with the bad guards. Hashtag used to criticize women in Superior Court effectively action case. EU refundum. Polls close in the UK in vote to decide whether country should remain in EU member state. PlayStation 4. New update 3.5 Five, five released for count console. And now let's take a look at your weather. Here's a look at your radar right now. And as you see on radar, it is all clear in New Hampshire. And let's go over to our weather station. And on your weather station, your wind speed peak is Six miles per hour. Current is zero. Come from south. Your average is zero. Your temperature is 72 degrees. Humidity is 58%. Your forecast is partly cloudy. Your pressure is 29.83. And that's your weather on our weather station. Now let's take a look at your next seven day forecast. And here's a look at your next seven day forecast. And that does it for Good Evening New Hampshire right here on the Riley King Network. I hope you all have a great rest of your Thursday night. Good night, everyone. Bye.